Hey y'all, it's me Charity here at Lady Luck Tutorials on YouTube and today I decided to do my first ever makeup tutorial in my new apartment and my new bedroom. I have no clue what kind of a look I'm going for today because every day with me is different even though every day my makeup tends to always look the same, but I haven't even planned this out or thought about it. I just thought I'm going to do a makeup tutorial today. So let's get started. Um, my face decided to have a nervous breakdown. I don't know if I'm having an allergic reaction to something or what is going on, but my face is going crazy. Um, so I just got my organic clear in not too long ago and I've been trying to keep up with that because that stuff is magical and it takes my acne away and I had ran out of it for a while but I started using it again so ah, can't wait to see the results. So I'm going to start off this look by using my rose water. I just got this in the mail today. I haven't had it in two months and and it really sucked because I am obsessed with my rose water and I've been missing it so bad. So yay! I'm so glad I got another bottle of that in the mail today. There's probably going to be a lot of talking in this video, so if you don't want to hear me or you ain't interested in this, girl, sorry about that. So the next products I'm going to be putting on my face after this rose water dries up a little bit um, is this Skiderm Ultimate Eye Cream. I did a review on this a few weeks ago. This stuff is amazing, and I've been using it ever since. I love it, love it, love it. So watch the review on this product to learn more about it. I will post a link down below. I sometimes wonder if y'all get sick of me doing makeup tutorials with the towel on my head, but I really don't understand how girls do it without the towel on their head because I get face makeup and stuff all over. Like, how are they not getting it in their hair, making it like greasy and cheesy and stuff? Ugh. I don't get it, but it's none of my business. So now I'm going to go on with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I haven't used this in a long time, but I decided to use it today because I seen some chick on Instagram talking about it and I forgot all about it. So I was like, man, I used to love that lotion. So I'm going to use it today. Don't forget that neck, girls. And a decollete. I'm also going to go in with this MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance. Am I the only one who goes to do their makeup and forgets that they didn't dampen their booty blender? Seriously, that's so annoying. Anyways, let's go in with this Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm just gonna dab it all over. My mama told me when I was young, we were all born superstars. Am I the only one who thinks that when they see that foundation? Now I'm going to go in with this Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to put it under my eyes, on my eyelid, and wherever else I need to conceal. Don't get me wrong, I love my shape tape, but am I the only one that finds that it doesn't like completely cover up stuff? Now I'm going to, dang, I look white. Trust me, I don't look this white, y'all. Seriously, it's just the lighting, I think. But I need this lighting to see, okay? I look like a ghost though, that's freaky. So we're gonna, we about to bronze this up, okay? Let's squeeze some of this LA girl out of here and just make some little connect the dots around our faces. Okay, that was too much, but it's all right. <laughs> Listen, I am used to Texas weather. Right now I would be laying out getting a tan, but stupid Virginia, oh my gosh. It's still cold outside, seriously, it's ridiculous. This is the stupidest weather I've ever seen in my life. I should be in Texas getting my tan on. Look at this. What is this, huh? 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 Have no fear. Blendy brush is here. Okay, that's a little better. 
I had to cut one of my lights off because I feel like it's just too much. If you guys could see me in person right now, you would know that I actually don't look as white and as freaky as I'm looking in this camera. Okay, so I'm going to give all of this some time to just melt into my skin. I actually have to charge my camera. In the meantime, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows with this YBF Universal Brow Pencil. I'm just going to be filling them in um, while my camera's charging, so I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I took my hair out of that towel because... I just figured I would. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bronzer even though I already put that darkness on my face. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. light beige. Here's a good tip with bronzer. Even though there's a lot of bronzers out there that are amazing and I love to use certain ones, but if you love bronzer but you don't love the sparkles in it sometimes because a lot of them have sparkles for some reason, Get a powder that's way darker than your skin or just a little bit darker if you don't want that dark of a bronzer. And there's not gonna be any sparkles because most powders don't have sparkle in them. So you can use just a darker powder as a bronzer. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the shade Fair. And I'm using this Ate Cosmetics brush and I'm just gonna Kind of blend everything out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with this old school MAC blush that I've had forever that is pretty empty. Um, this is in the color Pink Swoon. I haven't used this in a long time, but I just felt like using it because I just discovered that I still had it. So I'm gonna put this right here. You know, I was actually thinking of doing the look I had in yesterday's life update video, but I didn't feel like doing eyeshadow today. And I got, I always get a lot of requests on eyeliner, like eyeliner tutorials, even though I've posted some before and I've done my eyeliner in videos before, but I still get requests on eyeliner. So I thought, you know what, maybe I'll do just eyeliner today. To be honest with y'all, I suck at eyeliner. I think I do anyway. And I think it's the most miserablest thing to put on. And one of my eyeliners just decided to get up and walk away from me and I can't find it anywhere. So whatever, I'm gonna have to do what I have to do, girl. Okay, so I've yet to master liquid eyeliner on the bottom lash line. I don't know how people do that. I do not know, but I like to use a pencil. I think it's easier. So this is just what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna start like smudging this pencil on my bottom lash line. I don't know why I like to start with the bottom lash line sometimes, I just do. So I'm not like rubbing it on there hard, I'm just like slightly going across because then I'm gonna blend it out with a brush. <gasps> See, it looks ugly. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 liner by the way. I'm gonna go in with this like flat um, brush and just smudge that out. Pull it out a little bit too. And no fear, if you ever mess up your eyeliner, there's Q-tips, okay, it fixes it. Me personally, I have to do that. I'm sorry, I just do, but I like to moisten it and it helps to clean up any messes. This is not perfect, so I'm going to keep smudging. If you're doing something like this and it's not perfect, you just keep working with it, okay, until it's halfway decent. That's as good as it's gonna get for now. And now I'm going to go in with a liquid liner. Mm, I really wish I had that other liquid liner. I have no clue where it went. But I guess I'm just gonna use this. I got this the other day from Target. This is Essence brand and it is waterproof eyeliner liquid pen. It's like that. So, this is just how I do it, okay? I don't know how anybody else does it. I'm gonna pull my eye a little bit and I'm gonna start here at this inner corner and with just little strokes like this. Okay? I'm just gonna start with these little strokes and connect it with that bottom line that I just created. And then start dragging it a little bit. If you want it thin, keep it thin. You want it thicker, you can build on it. If you mess up, use the Q-tip.
This eyeliner is okay, but as of right now, it's not being my favorite. So I'm just going to keep going with some strokes. And I'm going to start building this line thicker. I like to take a black pencil and go in on my lash line in there inside my eye, the water line, just so there's no gaps in between my liner and my eyelash line. So I'm going to go back over. I'm going to start making it thicker because I like my eyeliner thick. So, don't you just love when you wipe off half of your foundation you just did in your concealer? Oh, I just love that girl. All right, so now you see I've done this, okay? I've kind of connected it, but I haven't finished the end yet. So now I'm gonna do the winged liner. Every time I do winged liner, it's different. So there's not just one way that I do it. Sometimes I pull it up to the heavens. Sometimes I just go along with my natural eye. Every time is different, seriously. But this time, I'm gonna take this eyeliner and I'm going to pull it up like that towards the end of my eyebrow. And then I'm just gonna work on it. See that? Then I'm gonna connect this bottom line like this. And look, it looks really stupid, okay? But I'm just gonna go with my Q-tip and I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna wipe away some of it, I'm gonna re-add some more, cause that's life. All right, it's not looking too bad. I might just leave it like that, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go on this other eye now. Now you see how I'm doing this different? Now I'm starting out the outer edge and going in. I'm telling you, I do things so crazy sometimes. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time, I'm just like doing it, okay? So when y'all ask me how I do stuff, I'm like, I don't even know. I am just doing it. I'm going to work on this wing. I'm going to keep in mind that I brought this one out to the eyebrow, okay? No matter what I convince myself of, it never turns out the same. But oh well. And I'm connecting it with that bottom line. And as you can see, they're not the same. But I'm going to work on it. I'm gonna do the best I can to make them look the same. That's all you can really do sometimes. Now see, I, I, I'm not satisfied with this. I don't feel like it looks good, so I wanna add more. Cause I'm crazy, okay? I'm just crazy. One day, if I ever figure this out, I'll make a better tutorial. But this is the best you gonna get for now, girl. Now, I really think the worst is putting on eyeliner when you already have your eyeshadow perfected and then you're trying to wipe it off with that Q-tip, it doesn't really work out too well, but you know. I'm gonna add some of this black to the bottom waterline, and I think I'm gonna go and smudge that bottom lash line some more, because I like to pull it out a little at the bottom. I'm even gonna take this brush and just go over top of that top lash line. And there you have it. This is it, it's as good as it's gonna get. And now I'm gonna go in with the world's greatest mascara, if you guys have not tried this, I don't know what is going through y'all's brain. This is Clarins Super Volume. I swear, what this stuff does for me in like a few minutes is normally what would take me like 10 minutes to achieve. Just the length and the thickness that it gives is amazing. Seriously. There's never been another mascara that works for me this way. So happy I finally got another tube of it. I was trying out some other products in between time while I was waiting to get this. And you know what? I got really sick of during the day, like the mascara going on the bottom, like under my eye, no matter what I did, the mascara would always be down there and it would be so embarrassing. Like, you know, if you're out in public and you're not paying attention to yourself, looking in the mirror constantly, you don't know that there's like black lines and dots underneath your under eye where you just perfected your foundation and concealer. This mascara does not do that to me. And I absolutely love this mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And I normally don't like too many products on my bottom lashes. Okay.
Look at that. How beautiful is that? And I barely, I actually barely put any on. I mean, you literally just watched me. And that is the results that it gives. You might not like this look, but I love it. It is so my style. And I don't know, this mascara is just amazing. I will link it down below so y'all can check it out. And hopefully get yourself some. Do yourself a favor and get yourself some. Okay, now I'm going to apply some to my bottom lashes. I have like really stupid bottom lashes. Like I barely have any. I hate that, I wish I had more, but whatever. Nothing I can do about it now, y'all. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the viewfinder because I'm trying to look in the mirror at the same time and this is not easy because I don't want to get it on my face. Look at that. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera because I don't want to bore y'all to death. Okay, so I just finished my mascara. Don't my eyelashes look good, right? I'm telling y'all. Y'all got to get down with this mascara because y'all are missing out. It's clearance. Ah, oh, it's the best. Okay, so I want to finish this look off with a highlighter. I am not, I'm, I love highlighters on other people, but for some reason, let's just be honest, when I put it on me, it makes my pores look humongous. Sometimes my skin looks muddy and I'm like, huh, why? It looks cakey, it looks cheesy, it just... You know, I don't know. I've tried different kinds and it just, it doesn't work for me, but I love it. So I just do it anyway, you know, probably just like everybody else. But y'all, let's be honest, YouTube people, Instagram, you can, um, mm. <sighs> let me even speak it for myself. You cannot tell me that they look that flawless and in pictures and in videos, mm -mm, girl, no. Cause I know what it looks like on me and you cannot tell me that you, Mm -mm. No. So I'm going to go in with this City Color Collection Highlight Palette. It's probably one of my favorite little highlighters. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go in with this middle color here. And I'm just going to put some on this Morphe eyeshadow brush. It's a blending brush. But I'm going to put a little on it. I'm going to put a little on my nose. And even though when I'm looking in the mirror, and maybe you might see me in a picture from far off, Oh, my nose looks just so too, too, too. But when you look up close, girl, that look cakey and crusty. But that's all right. That's all right. If you get that close to me, then you need a backup. Because my husband ain't going to like that. So, backup. All right. Then I'm going to put, like, I'm just going to put a little over here. I've been trying to stay away from, like, the big porous area of my face because that's where it shows up the most. But then I just, my OCD gets the best of me and I'm like, but I want it down here. I need to stop that. Mm. Or somebody out there needs to uh, invent the most amazing highlighter that doesn't make you look boo-boo, all right? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just <laughs> put it over here. Who cares if my pores look big? All right. So I'm, I'm doing a little highlighter because I'm trying to be trendy. But you know what? Mm. Ain't really working for me, but that's okay, girl. How you looking good, girl? Mm. Now, you know what? Mm. I'm just going to be sitting here for the next 20 hours till Alan gets home. So um, I really don't need to be putting no lipstick on, but I'm going to do it just for this video. What lipstick am I going to wear? You know what? I think I'm going to go in with this Mariah Carey here. This is a bit of bubbly and uh oh i need some chapstick first because my lip is crusty so let's go in with this eos or eos whatever it's called i don't know you know when you have thin lips you just do it real quick and you're done but i hate watching those tutorials of those girls that have humongous lips and they're like like it takes them three hours and i'm like oh really Cause girl, I am done. Okay. Anyways, so here's my finished look. Eyeliner, lashes, new lips as always. I think I actually need a little bit more blush. And you know what? I am not going in with that old MAC one because 
it's not doing nothing for me. So how about, um, I'm gonna give a shout out to my bestie, Christy, who bought me this. Have no clue what it's called, but she got it for me. So I'm gonna use some of this just for her. Girl, that color look good. It show up good too. So Christy, if you're watching this, I love you. And mm -hmm. yay, I'm good to go now. Now I'm gonna show you what I really look like in real lighting because all this fake light in here, it ain't working for me. Oh, okay. So here I am with the window open, just a little natural lighting. Those eyelashes are fierce, right? Lighting everywhere is different, seriously. There's no telling what I'm gonna look like in different lighting. I mean, look at this lighting. Ha 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 Let's go open the back door and see that lighting and hopefully nobody's sitting out there because they will probably think I'm crazy for holding this camera in my face. Mm. Ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Natural lighting. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this really weird tutorial. I did it just for y'all. Give me a thumbs up, girlfriend, and uh, subscribe to my channel. And you know what? Let's just keep it real, okay? Keep it real, y'all. Keep it real. All right. See y'all later.